Welcome back to Bourbon Country Reacts. This guy here in the Hotel hang Tango hat. Hotel much, Tango. How much you been drinking? Not a damn drop. You haven't had a drop yet. You guys often accuse us of being drunk. We're not drunk. We're just stupid. It's true. It's true. Hotel Hango. Hotel Hango. Also known as Hotel Tango. Good bourbon place. But that's not what we have here today. But this is Keith. I'm the bourbon guy, Dustin. He's Keith, the music guy. Keith. Ish, at least. Ish. Yeah. Yeah. You're teaching me shit. Yeah. So, it's all good. Uh, so, we're going to talk to y'all about some country music that we don't know anything about. And listen to it and tell you what we think. And then, also some bourbon that I know nothing about. Me either. But this is my favorite kind of bourbon. This is a bribe. What are you doing? I am stealing your thunder. <laughs> you can't even do it right. They can't even see it. There you go. Amateur hour over here. What are you doing? I'm making sure they hey, can see hey, it. Hey, hey, that... I'll hold it like this. That could be Don't alcohol me. abuse. This is dangerous. I'm not going to drop it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got a bribe from Holly. Holly sent us... Uh, what did she send us? Here. Yeah, you want me to read this? I want you to read that. All right. So what Holly had sent us was... Holly... Thank you. We, we actually have to put little sticky notes right. on the bottles now so we make sure that we get your song and your bourbon together. That's what's important. Uh, so she sent us, I think she said it's a local one to her cool. on the B Bourbon Trail. So we got to look that up. I don't know what a B Bourbon Trail is. I don't know. We're going to have to figure that out. Uh, but Boone County, small batch. What's small batch? It's at least one bottle less than their regular batch. Correct. That's all it means. Yeah. It's true. It, it could mean more than that, but there's no... There's no standard on it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so, small batch bourbon straight uh, bourbon whiskey. It is 45, so it's... 90 proof. 90.8 Okay. proof. Uh, born in 19, 1833. We'll talk more about this when we get into the bourbon. I'll crack it open. What are we, what are we listening to? So, uh, Holly... I know you requested the official video. We think we have the official video. It's the one that's on Kenny's channel, Well, right? it's posted to YouTube by Sony Entertainment, so it's probably a, the, as official as it gets, I would assume. If we've gotten it wrong, there are a bunch of these out there, and if we've gotten it wrong, uh, our deepest apologies, but we think this is the right video. You tell us. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you'll let us know. All right, well, Dustin Pours, I think it's time to uh, get into this song. I, you, you've never heard, I, do you know Kenny Chesney at all? Yeah, we didn't we do one of his? Oh, I think we did. Yeah, pretty early. Yeah, I can't remember what the name of it was. I remember I kind of liked it. Because he's the guy that does the... Is he, he's not the one I call country music Eminem, is he? I think he is. I think this is him. I don't... We forgive us. We don't know country music. That's why we're here, right? That's why y'all watch us. Uh, I think this is who you called country music Eminem. Oh, okay. Based on his attire. Right, and and only that. Can uh, you smell this? I poured a little super on Super strong nose. Like, I don't want to <laughs> smell your finger, man. I do not want to. You did. I smelled did. his finger. What is wrong with me? Okay, it's got a really good nose. It does. But th th they want to hear the song. Yeah, let's play it. Let's, let's play Hurry it. Up. I, I'm getting like a 90s rock vibe off that guitar, like... Some blind melon or something like that, dude. That's a good comp comparison, right? That down, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah. So, which came first, Kenny or blind melon? Somebody who knows both, tell us. Uh -huh. I'll back it up, start it over. I just wanted y'all to hear how that song initially hit me. Just Wasn't so blind melon's notes. guitar riffs super like they weren't super complicated, but they were super like catchy. Yeah, kind of like that. A little bit. Yeah. All right. I'm I'm gonna back this all the way up because. 
Kenny probably would not appreciate the comparison to Blind Melon, but that's where it hit me. Who knows? All right. Fresh cut grass. I'm back in my helmet, cleats, and shoulder pads. Standing in the huddle, listening to the call. Fans going crazy for the boys that fall. That's foosball, Bobby. They didn't let just anybody in that club. Took every ounce of heart and sweat and blood To get the wear those game day jerseys down the hall the Kings of the school, man, where the boys are fall Well, let's turn and face the stars and stripes Let's fight back them butterflies it's Knocking heads and talking trash It's slinging mud and dirt and grass It's I've got your number, I've got your back When your back's against the wall You mess with one man You've got a song The boys are falling All they got. Well, yeah. well, we had baseball. Newspaper clippings fill the coffee shops. The old men will always think they know it all. Story. Yes. Young girls Any dream school, about the boys of fall. Well, it's turning face to stars and stripes. It's fighting back them butterflies. It's And it's knocking heads and talking trash It's slinging mud and dirt and grass It's I got your number, I got your back When your back's against the wall You mess with one man you got a soul Fighting back them butterflies It's calling in the air All around you Sir, we want the ball It's knocking heads and 
you had something to say. So, it was very... The, that song struck me as a... Like, I would... I'm going to steal your words. That's a mood tune. Totally. Totally, yeah. Right? Yeah. It's straight up a mood tune, but at the same time, and the thing that's kind of... I'm trying to wrap my brain around, it's an anthem tune. So, I, I think I've got the words you're searching for. All right. It's a nostalgia song. Yes. So, yes. you know, I, I, was, good. I was a very crappy football player. Like, when I was younger, probably, you know, up until the start of high school, we did the brutal sandlot thing. I mean, we would just kill each other yeah. out there. Smear I mean, the what? No, nah, we didn't do that. You didn't do any of that? No, we actually played... You know, we'd Actually get eight, ten football. guys and play tackle football. Yeah. There was at least one significant injury every time we got together. We played rough. Damn. We did. We. I mean, we played football too, tackle, but we didn't We didn't hurt nobody. That was the first time I remember not remembering a period of my life. Oh, shit. Because I got Oops. knocked out. You, got, you saw birdies <laughs> for a second. That's all you saw. I hit the deck. And apparently lost 15 minutes or so. Oh, shit. And got right back up and got right back on the line. <laughs> that explains a lot. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, you know, different artists and have done nostalgia songs like that in rock, too. You know, put me in coach, I'm ready to play, you know, uh, mm-hmm. center field, you know. Uh, I mean. Call it in the air, right? Yeah, yeah like like this. I think, Remember the Star Spangled Banner because they talked about that. Yeah, and I think what I liked about this, all those songs, like Kenny didn't write this to make, to make it, um, or whoever wrote it. This this song wasn't done to try and make it to the uh, uh, Fox Football intro anthem. Right. Nope. Not even. Nope. This song and, was written it for was... football players and the girls that liked them. So. That's where it's interesting to me because, yeah, I agree. Uh, a lot of football songs, though, I would call them like hype songs. Like they're trying to get you pumped up, right? Ready to play. Hit somebody. This is like you've already won the game, and you go. If you're old enough to drink, you go back home and pop a drink and chill with this. Sit and think about the glory days, dude. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that, that's what this song's about. You man. hit it out of the park, man. Home uh, run. Yeah. Um, I enjoyed the music in it. Yeah. I, I just, that guitar just kind of running with those, uh, you know, he was higher up the neck playing those leads. You know, slow and, and melodic. I, I, I enjoyed that. Um, and I enjoyed the song, period. Definitely a mood vibe. Doesn't hit me as hard because I wasn't, uh, the a star football, of the player. football team. Yeah. Um, I remember all that though. You know, the girls. Uh, you know, being so proud, wearing the jerseys. somebody's jersey oh, around school. That was a thing. And, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. It it actually caused some some problems in our school, and they they uh, made the football players not. It was they were not allowed to loan their jerseys out. What? That's yeah. a thing. Some chick fights and stuff actually went down over that Shit. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing. Hey, they, my, the chicks definitely wore them at my high school. My, my school was fun, let me tell you. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, always good times. Um, yeah, so, I mean, the, the nostalgia here wasn't just about the players, it was about their girlfriends and all yeah. that stuff. Yep, and just being, like, that was kind of the neat part about the lyrics. It wasn't just all about the game. Right. It was, like, all the stuff around the game, even. And, and some of the details, you know, the mud and the grass and... Yeah. yeah. The yep. smell of the grass. Yep. You know, yeah, which fresh I, cut grass. I, I absolutely remember on the baseball field, man, when they'd Oh yeah. I, I play I played the outfield. I was fast. I could catch anything. And uh so I'd be out there in that freshly mown outfield just hey, it smells good out here. Mm-hmm. Ooh, look a worm. Oh, the ball's hit my way. <laughs> <laughs> Butterfly, it's pretty. So, so you uh, picking down the line? No, there weren't any on that field no. where I played. Any of the fields I played. So, so this is Boone County. A manufactured, made, made, or er, I'll get there. I'll get there. Made, stop, stop trying to steal my thunder, man. Ma- yeah, it's weird. 
So it says on the bottle, minimum aged five years. Could be a low char aging. That's what I was thinking. That's where my head went. It's got, it's pretty, uh, you can't really tell in the, you can kind of see it a little bit. It's not super dark. Um, it's, it, it, but what's interesting is it actually says aged five to 15 years. So it's a blend of barrels they've pulled. Yeah, I think that's right. Um, I read a little bit of on the back. I kind of want to go here. Where is it? Uh, Boone County. Boone County, Kentucky? Correct. Okay. Yeah. See, so, like, I think every state in the con- or country has a Boone County somewhere. Well, ours is, like, right there. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's right over there. Yeah, West Virginia is right below the capital, and it's a fun place, let me tell you. Is it? It's where the wild and wonderful whites are from. That's what I thought. <laughs> if you haven't seen it, if you have seen it, you know. If you haven't seen it, don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, so they've got some really good marketing people that talk about their story on the back. I'm not going to go through all of it here. Um, but the thing that's that I want to go, the, like, this is how you tell they're, they're good marketing people. I want to go there. And figure out what they mean by made by ghosts. It says that. On the bottle. Made by ghosts. It literally says, you could probably almost see it, made by ghosts. Uh, and it says, and I, I was trying to, while we were just chilling with the outro, I was like, okay, well, while we're chilling with the outro, I'll see what this bottle says, right? Makes sense. Uh, I'm not missing any lyrics. Um, it says, in the spirit of those who came before us, we are made by ghosts. I bet that's a reference to uh, it's a mash bill and process created by people long dead. William Snyder is the founder. Primary ghost. Yes, I think so. <laughs> and he's so he's got a picture here. Yeah. And he's got a picture here. Okay. So he's he's influencing their stuff tell me what you think of it man my first hit was sharp Ooh, that's a good word for it uh-huh. it's not smooth the first hit oh. at 90 what did i say 90 at 0.8 i don't think that it, it's that it's not smooth because what I'm getting, that sharpness, mm-hmm. is not alcohol. What do you get? What? It's flavor. It's a... Um, is it like a pepper? Not quite. Uh, so I think really the best way I can come to describe this, because the initials are bitter. Yes. Bitter. Like really bitter, bitter. Bitter cocoa. Y- yeah. It definitely goes cocoa quick. Then at the mid palate, it's kind of sweet and caramely, and then you go, but it's a flash, mm-hmm. and then you go back to bitter. Yeah, like almost like a flat bitter. So like a wood bitter, actually. Yeah, yeah, like an like oaky oak, bitter. Oak bitter. Yeah. So I think um, what I would say about this bourbon is, if you're the sort of person that likes very dry white wines, this is a very good bourbon for you. That's a pretty, that, that's good. You're on a roll tonight, man. Who are you, and what'd you do with my buddy Keith? Oh, like I'm gonna trade him in. You're good. I've been ad- abducted by sp- space lizards. I don't, I don't know what they did to you, man. No anal probes. Mm. Well, I think you hit most of the notes. Uh, honestly, the note what, what, what we didn't talk about was the nose. And what's interesting about the nose... I, I like this. I just finished it. I, I like it. What's interesting about that nose is it's like... When I first poured it, I was like, I smell chocolate. Yeah, the nose tells you nothing about what you're about to drink. It really doesn't. Not a, not a thing. Because it smells completely different than it tastes. We have... This is this is a bribe. Holly sent it to us. Thank you, Holly. Cool we, tune. We did like the tune. Oh, wait. We also have no idea what this costs. True, and I didn't look it up beforehand. I should have. I'm sorry. I so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put what I would pay for this out there. Out there. Okay. 
I think I would very easily pay in the forty to fifty dollar range. I was going to say forty five dollars. Yeah, that's where my head was at. Maybe forty. Yeah, and who knows? This may be a seventeen dollar bottle of bourbon. We don't know. Or it could be a could be a hundred dollar bottle of bourbon. We don't know. (laughs) We need to also thank Holly for something else. Holly uh, is apparently a fan of our women's, as are we. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> and uh, sent them from the same distillery some of their bourbon cream, which our women's trust us will very much appreciate. Oh, yeah. The things that Andrea is going to do with that? Uh, yeah. Uh, no. Andrea is a wizard with mixed drinks, and when you give her a good bourbon cream, <sighs> some crazy good things happen there. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I can't feel my face. True story. My wife, uh, Andrea handed my my wife Mm -hmm. a, uh, what was it? It was a hot chocolate. Oh, it was the hot chocolate. Yeah. (laughs) And uh, she says to me, you know, Joanna says to me, hey, do you want to taste this? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, let me taste it. Uh, Your initial reaction was not really because we're drinking bourbon. But uh, but I sipped it. You did. And I handed it back to her and I said, be very careful. Because I'm a super taster and I can detect alcohol really well, even hidden very well in a mixed drink. Joanna detected none of the alcohol. She couldn't taste, didn't have no idea it was there. Gets through three quarters Hold of on, that wait. thing. She wasn't being roofied. She knew it was there. She didn't realize how much was there. She didn't, yeah. <laughs> she, she didn't know how much was in there. So finally she's sitting there and she starts, I, I can't feel my face. It's true. Give me that. <laughs> <laughs> and she let me take it. Uh-huh. And she only finished about half the cup. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, hey, thank you, Holly. If you guys uh, enjoyed this video, yeah, give us a thumbs up. Uh, go ahead and subscribe. Yeah, the subscribers, you guys are awesome. We, we like you guys. We, we yeah. interact with you a lot in the comments because we like it. We're not doing this for subscribers. We really aren't. This is fun for us. But Yeah, we want ones, you to come back. The ones that you... The ones that are out there, you guys are awesome. Yeah, yeah. Seriously. Um, uh, click the little bell so you get notified when new stuff drops. Yeah. Uh, we just did a post oh, yeah. uh, about this. Um, so uh, we had to go on a bourbon run. Um, go check it out. Yeah, okay. we... We took a compensation photo. <laughs> we did. <laughs> Look like an ATF lineup. Exactly. Um, so... Uh, but hey, uh, if you if you want your song propelled to the front of our extensive list of requests, we're over thirty four hundred. Wow! Be like Holly, send us a bottle. We do use the democratic process here. Your votes count, and we they really count. We count they, them. Dustin meticulously counts all those. There are things. no hanging chads, and uh, so uh, we do count your votes. And but if uh, somebody bribes us, you go to the front of the line. That's how that works. It's only fair. It's a democratic process, man. We don't do politics on this channel. <laughs> Till next time, guys. <laughs>